Hey, Reggie. So we were talking earlier and we have determined that right now a lot of people in this market are there's a lot of uncertainty we want to make people feel safe in this market so we're going to talk about the safe bet and kind of like an unsafe bet yeah. so i know you're you're prepared you're ready to educate yeah. the community so if you don't mind i'm just going to go first and touch on it doesn't matter everybody what data you're looking up uh if we're go headed into a recession what the rate is uh all that stuff if you figure out how much you can afford monthly and an underwriter gives her stamp of approval or her stamp of approval on it and you build the formula the math of how much down you need what area you need to buy in all of that yes it is going to be a safe bet you have to determine what you're comfortable paying with on a monthly payment basis and that's the way to structure it it doesn't mean that uh, you necessarily have to buy where you live. Let's say you have 25% down and you want to buy real estate, but you can't afford to buy where you live in, then buy a rental property. Let's figure out how the numbers are going to work there, but buy real estate. There's not going to be more dirt made on this earth. It's just supply and demand at this point. It doesn't matter what the rate is. Get a 30-year fix and figure out what your monthly budget is and go for it. So that's my safety tip. So Reggie, give me something that is unsafe in a real estate market, any real estate market. Well, you know, um, right now, um, the thing that's iffy is um, for those of you out there that are investors, um, you know, uh, if you're new in, in it, you may want to be pretty careful. I, if you've done it for a long time and you've seen the ebbs and flows of the market, you, you can understand it. But with, um, you know, all the costs that can come along, you need to make sure that you understand the cost, uh, understand uh, the market that you're looking in, have great relationships with your uh, contractors and, and vendors, uh, because when you have a market that could be potentially declining or, it, you know, staying flat, then uh, you have to take that in consideration because when it's time to sell, you know, properties are sitting on the market a little bit longer than they were. And you don't want to, you know, have all the holding costs of the hard money lenders and so forth um, just sitting there. And you may even have to turn into a uh, buy and hold and actually, you know, try to rent it out. But that might not be your goal, right? You may have been wanting to get that big payday. So that's just one thing that so you're I talking about consider. flipping, right? How if you're flipping a house and you have 90 days to hurry up and do it and the market turns, right? So is that what you're speaking right. to? Mm -hmm. So if you aren't prepared, if you have put your, all your eggs in one basket and you put all your money in and 90 days later, 120 or con your contractor sucks, as we know how that can be. Uh, I, I'm a real estate investor myself and I've been there. So it sounds like if the market turns and that's where your money's money's put into and you can't fix and hold it, then you could be having an issue, right? You could. You could. And you don't want to be in that position especially if you're newer, uh, that's in no way to, you know, take someone that's experienced and tell you, hey, you can't do it. But if you're newer, you may want to be a little careful. Thank you, Reggie. So if you're, you're everyone, if you are buying real estate, if you're an investor, you have to decide if you're ready to fix and hold it, if it doesn't turn quickly or know your numbers, if it's a long-term rental, the safe bet is if it's buying a primary residence, it's better than renting. Rents are only going to go up. Supply and demand is not going to change. So figure out that monthly payment and talk to a mortgage professional and a real estate professional, maybe us. But <laughs> exactly. <Love laughs> I like it. that plug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Reggie. All right. You're welcome. Thank you.